guys, I'm back and here is what everyone's been waiting for. The question I put out to you guys was which comic you would like me to review and it was between Marvel Zombies, New 52 Grifter and Judge Dredd. Now with a whopping 88% of the vote, um, it's what everyone voted for and right here, right here, Marvel Zombies. It's not what people wanted. No one wanted this. It was hilarious. No one wanted it. Not a single vote. So, let's see, just get the fuck out of there. It's gone. Might, if you want to do a review it another time, maybe. Not, not today. Today is not this day. Whatever one did vote for, if I can get it the right way, it's New 52 Grifter. Now, New, uh, well, sorry. Now, Grifter is based on this one character, the main character Grifter. Nice. nice. Good work, mate. Uh, so Grifter is uh, a man named Cole Cash. Uh, he was in the military. Uh, he's got expert skills in marksmanship and close combat and uh, pretty much basic skills you learn in the military, I suppose. Uh, and he left the military, became a con man, and that's where the story sort of picks off. Now, <clears throat> he was uh, on one of his sort of con jobs he was doing. He uh, gets adopted by fucking aliens, and so already off to a, a, a bit of an unexpected twist there, um, if you're reading it for the first time. Now, these aliens are called the Demonites. Not the Demonites. Don't get those confused. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, two different things. Demonites, aliens, Demonites, Demonites. So try to remember that. Alright, so gets kidnapped by these aliens called the Demonites. Demonites, they basically, what they're doing is they are capturing, al uh, capturing aliens, nice. capturing humans and experimenting on them and basically it's to find out, try and like expand their life, because their race is sort of slowly dying off. They're trying to expand, uh, well, trying the longevity of their race. So they're experimenting on humans. Cole Cash, unfortunately, was one of the humans they've captured. Now, uh, he was held for 17 days, and basically, during this time, did all weird, shitty, like, weird experiments. Typical, probably, alien stuff. But in that time, they've, um, when they experimented on they gave him powers. So he's got telekinesis and telepathy. And basically, he wakes up, in a fucking tube and he's just like holy shit and he's in in this fucking alien ship uh, he escapes but he can see he can understand because the demonites they tell they, well, they're telepaths so they communicate mentally and there's like oh we're gonna kill the human he's escaping and there's just like no don't kill me and there's like what you can understand us um, so they basically trying to get him he gets off the ship uh, yeah, so shit just escalates from there. He is now on the run from a whole bunch of people with this alien race who has the ability to take control of like human bodies. So anyone can be a fucking demonite. But luckily for Cole, his new powers allow him to see demonites. So he'd be walking along and be like, oh, there's a fucking demonite, there's a demonite, you're a demonite. And yeah, he's just basically forced to go on the run. Uh, he's, and while he's on the run, he's assaulted a police officer and basically starts racking up all these charges to try and get away. Uh, his brother, who still works for the government, Max Cash, is now trying to hunt him down and put him into custody, which is not, not too good for Cole. Uh, not to mention other, other federal bureaus and world governments. So, he's seen as an international criminal. Um, so yeah, and when it goes, um, so he's keeps trying, he's just constantly running away. Uh, during this time he gets confronted by two other people from the Marvel Universe, oh, not, nice work, from the DC Universe, just <laughs> good work, uh, from the DC Universe, let's get it again. So he meets two people from the DC Universe. Green Arrow and Midnighter. Now the Green Arrow fight I thought was really cool. Uh, 
probably would like to see Drago out for a little bit longer and see how that went and possibly who would have uh, on a longer scale, say if it was for a whole entire issue instead of uh, about four or five pages, six pages maybe. I think I'm giving it too many pages there. Uh, whereas the Midnighter fight was just boring and I find Midnighter is a, a shitty cheap Batman but I just personally don't like him because I had to read a whole bunch of fucking Stormwatch because like, that was the only thing Lobo was in which is fucking disappointing fucking... But that's a rant for another time I'll put that down as a rant for another time so <clears throat> yeah basically Cole Cash doesn't have any luck with planes because uh, why he's escaping, uh, this guy basically has like an explosive vest and um, blows up the plane and how sorry, he was originally captured on a plane. Can't remember if I mentioned that, if I didn't, sorry. I'm sort of jumping around a bit. Put that back up there. So, uh, what I'd say, I really enjoyed, uh, it was one of the first things I did pick up in the new 52 and it belongs in sort of my category of what I read, which is The Edge. So it's like sci-fi, uh, crime, uh, war, and I'm missing sci-fi, crime, war. And it like, yeah, so you got like, yeah, action, no, no, action, no, your all-star western, you got your uh, Deathstroke, and also other ones like Blackhawks, which I just sort of like that group, which is kind of funny, I'm reading about the... Some of them got enhanced powers, but they're not really superheroes, and they're running around with guns and knives and all that. Bit weird. But, yeah. I, I enjoy it. It's what I enjoy. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my review of Grifter, and there'll be plenty more. Keep the questions coming, please. I'll try and answer all of them and write out.